The basic premise of laser tag is that all people who take part are transferred to a special area and run around shooting each other. Points are scored for hits and points are deducted for missing or hitting a person on the same team as you. The team with the most points at the end wins. There are several other aspects of the game that make things interesting. The main advantage of laser tag over warfare is that level and power is irrelevant. Everyone starts with the same stats and has the same chances. Once a laser tag game is declared, you can join using laser tag join. You will be placed into a holding room, then randomly assigned to either the red team or the green team when the game starts. Both teams start at opposite ends of the laser tag arena, which is a 15 by 15 room random maze. Normal game prompts and flags do not appear in the laser tag arena. All you will see is how many charges you have remaining. Once the competition has actually started, gameplay is all about keeping track of how many charges you have. Everything costs charges, including movement and shooting. Now the options are shoot, which shoots at another player. To do that, you use the syntax shoot direction person. Now you cannot shoot at someone in the same room as you, and you can use abbreviations, but you could hit the wrong person. The accuracy of your shot depends on how close you are to the target and how many charges you have. The more charges you have, the higher your accuracy. After firing, you must move before you can fire again. Now movement is quite simple. Each movement costs charges. You can use laser points to see the cost. There is also the decoy command, which you can use to leave a mob in the room that will appear both in scan and look just as you do. The decoy will hang around for a couple of minutes and can be used to draw enemy fire while you sneak behind them. If a player tries to hunt you and you have a decoy in the area, hunt will home in on the decoy instead. Now typing transloc will randomly move you around the laser tag arena, much the same way that the translocate spell works within the main game. And if you get hopelessly lost at any time you can recall to your starting room. Now another alternative to recalling is to hunt the mascot in your starting room to get a general direction. To do this you can hunt red mascot and hunt green mascot. To see the cost of all these activities, use the command laser tag points. Note the commands such as hunt and recall are independent of the normal game, while in laser tag everyone can hunt and recall equally provided they have the charges for it. At any time while a laser tag game is active, you can type laser tag score to get a breakdown of current team scores and individual player scores. Once the game is finished, the scores will be posted to the laser tag board. Using the syntax laser score player will show you the score of just one player in the game. Once laser tag is started, you can use who laser to see all the people taking part along with what team they are in. You can also use who red and who green. A team channel is available to talk to people just in your team. To turn off laser tag channel, use the laser tag command with no arguments. The laser tag status command shows when the next game will start or how long is remaining of the current game. Let's type laser tag status and here we can see that there is no laser tag game being run at the moment and the next laser tag game will start in approximately 69 minutes. Well, hopefully I'm around for the start of the next game because that sounds like a lot of fun and I wouldn't mind giving it a shot, pun intended. Now, the first thing to do before joining a laser tag game is to quite simply make four aliases. You want to alias shoot east, shoot west, shoot north and shoot south. Now, I'm going to alias shoot east to EE and shoot south to SS, etc. You may of course use 
different letters. Now you might remember from one of my earlier videos that I've used the alias command before. To alias EE to shoot east, I simply type alias EE shoot east. It's that simple. There we go. Four very simple aliases that will absolutely make your gameplay enjoyable. Trying to type all that in manually as you're running around a 15 by 15 room arena is going to be nigh on impossible if you want to have any chance of actually hitting another player. So now all I need to do is type EE and the player's name or the first initial of that player. But let's wait until I actually join a game to see just how these are going to work. I'll see you hopefully in about an hour.